everybody. 20 past six in the morning. I'm off to my office. We've got a Sapphire fully modulating oil boiler by EOGB external model to fit today. Well looking forward to it. We love fitting them. I fit quite a few now. Once you get your head around setting them up, they're absolutely brilliant. You always say to people, get on that course and go and do it. Because yeah, they're gonna be the future. We do truly believe that. Just carry on, follow us throughout the day and uh, we'll give you as much information as we can. I'll speak to you in a bit. Here we are. We are in the office. We love our office. There we go. As well as, oh, there we go. Oh, yes, a nice UPS free circulation pump. And what else do we need? Nice Fernox TF1 filter. We love them. We think they're bloody great filters, we do. And what else do we get? I suppose it'd be really helpful to get some uh, lever valves. Need a couple of lever valves for the job today. There we go. Go. Good old F1 protector. We're loving it. And uh, where are we here? 22 mil pump valves would be good. And like that, a pair of them. And yes, good old EPH. We love our EPH controls. We keep loads of EPH controls. They just, they're brilliant. We get no problems with them at all. I suppose I need to get a far valve. That'd be a good out for today, wouldn't it? I've got a filter in my van already, I believe, but. We'll just double check here if we've got any. Yes, look at that. Millions of them. We love them. Filter. There you go, everyone. That's a good start to the day, isn't it? Office trip done. Got all my basic stuff I need. The far valves, filters, Fernox filter for the system, magnetic filter, circulating pump, stuff like that. Off for a really important break now, and that's, well, a coffee break, obviously. Luckily for me, I go right by a garage that's got lovely coffee in it, so that's where I'm gonna to pop to now. Might even have a little cheeky cheese and bacon turnover, not sure yet, but there you go. Then yeah, I'm about 10 minutes from me, I'm off then to get the boiler, and then I'll be on my journeys. I've got to with my son today, my oldest son, so hopefully we'll catch him out of the old Insta stories as well. It's five to seven, I've got to keep going, I want to get there for eight o'clock, catch up with you in a bit. Here we are everyone, Wallace is in Barton. Love it, absolutely love the place. Off to get my coffee. I love coffee. Got the coffee, love coffee, love it. Anyway, I am now gonna travel to the unit where the boiler is. You don't wanna see me driving on a video. With a bit of luck and with the magic of the world, three, two, one. Oh, made it. Magic everybody, absolute magic. There we go, I made it. Trailer connected, the sun is out at last. It's 25 to eight. I should still just get there for eight o'clock, so I'm really, really pleased with that. I think Ryan's already just pulling up, so he'll start draining, so that gives us a heads up a little bit to get on a little bit. A lot to do in a day, gonna be quite a long one. We are gonna power flush, obviously, the system, but we'll be doing that tomorrow. On with my driving again. Here we go, just gonna turn up now, see if we can find the road, um, and all will be good. Here we go, just turning down here now. And hopefully we will see Ryan here with a bit of luck. Wait for this car to get out of the way. Brilliant, they let us out of the way, thank you very much. I don't think they thought they had enough space, but they could get a bloody bus through there, but there we go. Right, let's have a little look, see if we can find Mr. Butler. Where are we? Ah, oh, there he is, right in front of us. Oh dear, doesn't appear to be much space here. That's not really ideal either. But there we go. Okay, so we'll let you know how the install goes. Uh, wish us luck. We're back, we're here. Say hello, Ryan. Hiya. There we go, so, right, here we go. Boom, dead boiler. Firmacon wall mounted. Great boiler in their day, but unfortunately they all have a lifespan. We're gonna take this off the wall. Flow returns up there. We're gonna run around here round, along here, down, through the wall, and this side, our lovely little sapphire is gonna go, boom, 
just there. That's the idea. So we're going to get it nice and level on there. It's quite a good playing field to start with. Brilliant. Oil line at the moment goes into the property. The good news is the oil tank is just here. We're going to start again straight off under the slab. We're just emptying this up along the wall. And then because of where it is, we're going to stick a plume kit up and away just to make it so it's nice and quiet and no noise down there. So we'll catch up in a bit. We need to start stripping it down. <laughs> Hello again. <laughs> Here we go. Boiler gone. We're really glad we time lapsed it because we really struggled to lift the boiler off because it was really heavy. <laughs> but there you go, it is what it is. We're leaving this because the gentleman is getting a roofer in to do the bit above because it's a very old roof. So I think he's having the whole roof done actually, from what I understand. So we're going to leave this. We'll take this little surround out, but the rest will go and be done by a roofer. Flounder turns are behind here. We're just going to come through now. We're going to put the pump here and we're going to put the magnetic filter here, which we'll take a picture and put on the socials later. But that's where we're at, so it's all gone. Really pleased about that, and it was harder than what we thought. Obviously, we've got a bit of pipe work in now, flow and returns going in, ready to go down the wall. Not exactly sure where they're going yet, hence they've just been cut anywhere, because we've got to get the boiler the other side. We'll catch up with you shortly. Back, we just want to bring something to everyone's attention. Here it is, the Sapphire boiler. They're really thinking about the environment. I haven't seen any other manufacturer do it yet, but look at this no wooden pallet anymore it's actually made for that one cardboard how yeah. good is that it just proves they think of absolutely everything okay that's really good for the environment we just cut the straps a bit of lift look how well that is packaged we are so pleased with the ogb look at that got a mark on it that is so good some other manufacturers we just get loads of blooming polystyrene and all stuff like that but look at it it's just so neat and tidy it just sits on there an absolute dream look that is why they were a step ahead we'll let you know when we've got it in position ball is in place as we can see all leveled up three holes through the wall flows ready to go onto here it will be straight obviously that needs lifting up that'd be absolutely fine so that's where we're at there you come with a lovely box of bits with this boiler it's really well laid out what you get in the kits you get this box full of goodies here how many people have these that come with their boilers, eh? To put the cables through, screw them through properly, proper fittings, okay? They're fantastic little things there with the little grommets in them. Ought to be watertight. Also, we get a oil compression fitting, which goes onto where the isolation valve is, which is absolutely fantastic. We get some spare nozzles for the different outputs to the boiler, okay? Obviously, we know the boiler modulates, but you still have to have your maximum output, etc. Get a key, really important. Without a key, it doesn't work. And obviously lube, we all love a bit of lube for the old flu. That's the first little bit there, this condense, fantastic. Look at that, everybody. It's actually stainless steel condensed. How much better can it be than that, eh? Fantastic. Normally they're plastic on boilers, not often you come across stainless ones. So that's great. That ain't never gonna rot out, is it? That's blooming brilliant. On the condense, so the condense will fit in there. We're not just on to have a pump in this occasion, because you can have a pump as well. That will go through there, on the condense, through, down, and into a soak away. So you already get that pipe as well we have two fittings one for the return bottom of the boiler bosch one for the flow top of the boiler bosch also we have a cone okay the cone is for if you have different outputs on the boiler sometimes you have to use this cone and put it in where the flame goes etc if you don't then it will flutter so it's really important you get the right cone for the boiler with the right nozzle on this occasion we're not going to need it terminal guard proper one plastic conversion so it fits on fine that's lovely stainless steel that's not going to corrode. Flu, that is so important. Got a cone in the end. This is a bit of a redesign. They were quite noisy originally. This has quietened them down. It's only a bit of plastic. It's a cone, but that's made such a massive difference to the boiler. That, to me, is the game changer. That makes it from a boiler that's a bit noisy to a boiler that's lovely and quiet. So that is the key to everything. We have air hose. Air hose goes on the fan, goes underneath, and attaches onto this part. This thing goes onto the back to create our balanced flue down there. Bosh, and then we connect it on, and the flue will come out the back on this case. Finally, we have the relay kit. 
really important this if you run an open firm which is a preferred way you don't need it if you go and switch live which this customer wants then obviously you've got this on the top got that right nice relay really important you've got to use the relay guys if you don't and you put 240 volts to this it's going to go bang so you need to be using the relay in here is the kit how to do it so that's all the parts on the boiler there's a few little special little bits in here okay i'll speak to you soon wine is here currently at the moment and as you can see oh, he on. is doing the flow and the returns and he's doing fine down here say hello ryan hello, hello ryan <laughs> and he's just connecting a to b there so yeah progress not too bad we're doing very well at the moment <laughs> God knows what the time is. I know ages ago it's gone five o'clock. This way we're at, we didn't get it going. We'd like to get it going in a day. Sometimes it doesn't happen. Quality over speed. If it doesn't go right, the job, just slow down. If it takes longer, it does. It's as simple as that. It's just been fiddly. It should have been really straightforward. It's just one of them. Take a boiler off the wall, connect the pipes, power flush it tomorrow, wire it, blah, 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 and away you go. But it's just been a fiddle. There you go. Anyway, boiler's in, in position as you can see, all nice and level. Boom kit, done, we'll take that, so it should be nice and quiet, that's fine. Isolators on there, clearly nothing connects you to it. Yeah, ain't gonna work yet, is it? That's fine. Flying returns, obviously, water in it, is, that's all done. Still got to do the condensed pipe, still got to do the oil line, and apart from the wiring of it, that's it. We should all be running by lunchtime tomorrow. Ben P is here tomorrow, power flushing as well, so there'll be three of us here. And uh, yeah, come and have a little look at Ryan's nice and neat work here. Come on, Ryan. Here he is, not bad. Up it goes, a few snots up there, but that'd be hidden with insulation later on. <laughs> up and round, and we come up round there, and obviously we've got the pump and the magging, etc. It's holding on a bar of pressure. It's been like that for the last half an hour. Ball is all bled, no leak. We'll take it. No night from us, and we'll see you tomorrow. Here we go again. 7.15 in the morning on my way to the Sapphire that we started yesterday. Quite excited, always prefer day two to day one for the pure reason it's running. I just love the sound of the sweet Sapphire. As we said yesterday, just need to wire it, which shouldn't take too long. I've sort of started to be honest, it shouldn't take me too long to sort out, get some oil to it. And then obviously we've got to be power flushed, which is by Ben P today, which is fine. And then we will literally get it up and running. I'm hoping to do some good videos today of it running, setup process and stuff like that. Stay tuned everybody, I'll speak to you in a bit. So everyone, here's our little update. I'm starting wiring, as you can see, I've got a bit of a mess to sort out in there, etc. As we know, all the flying turns are in, that's the way the wire's gonna go. And it's gonna go through the wall there. Let's see where the boys are at. Say morning, boys. Morning. There we go, a happy crew, morning. we love a happy crew. Ryan, what you're doing is doing an oil line. Look, as you can see, he's come along into the ground and he's come from the oil tank. He's about to put the fire valve on that in. And here's Ben P that's gonna power for us, but he's helping us for a minute. What you're doing, Ben? Just doing the condensed trap at the minute. Okay. Um, and then I'll put the hose on. That will come out through here and then we'll pipe it to the condensed. That's it, and the condensed yes. is gonna be a soak away. And yes, everyone, we use lime chickens and it's gonna go in the ground exactly where Ben's ass is at the moment, oh. and that's where it's gonna go. Oh, yeah. So we're doing all right, everything's okay. We'll give you an update shortly. Focus, everyone. Ben, come this way. There we go, let's have a look. Here we are, power flush, connected and running at the moment. Carrying on with the wiring, we've got the conduit that goes across there, drops down there. I've got to do something with that bit there, down the wall, through, into there. Let's go outside again. We've got one power flusher going. The system's not too bad, actually. We're going to turn that off at the minute. Then it's a bit quieter for us. Boiler. The boiler is wired. All done there. We've still got to put the caps in here. It's fine. Wine. Right. Show. We've got the oil line. This is nice to see it. Okay, there's the oil line there. Marker tape, everyone. Don't forget your marker tape. And then we come up along filter we love them filters fire valve and then obviously the condenser goes into the ground as you can see and here's the boiler so i was telling people about a wiring kit that was in an envelope earlier this is it here you've got this little bit here that just comes in here for the open firm so normally when you do the open firm you come straight into the wiring center 
and there's a link that says not 230 volts and that's where people go wrong so this is it this is a conversion down that goes into the wiring center and then we've got this wire in it's the uh, switch live and the neutral from the motorized valves the other end of the house so to speak we come down here we have got the fan we've now got the air ducting onto the fan we've got the oil line in we always leave a bit of a swish if there's a problem in the future we can just cut back and go again rather than having a bloody stupid joint condense is done needs straightening up benjamin comes up round and obviously down into there here we go turn it on we wait so what's happening now is the boiler is now obviously on it's showing the temperature we're just waiting for a signal from the hive the other end so it's now saying there's a switch live onto the relay at the top the relay is just thinking about it and if we just wait a few seconds we will find it will start to go he says in a few He's seconds <laughs> here we go we all listen quietly that's the fan going just slowly revving up give the flow of air through the boiler revving up a bit more click away we go we haven't set it up at the moment that's why we've got a little flutter but they won't be shortly so just sit there now if it requires it will rev up a little bit more but it won't because of how we've got it set at the moment and the idea is it's really straightforward and simple this detects the flow that's coming out of the boiler and then return back the idea is that as the boiler reaches temperature and the boiler is beating the system it's revving up now it's coughing a bit at the minute because we haven't set it up as it revs up and it obviously the boiler starts to beat the system it then starts to rev down again as soon as the system is taking too much heat, then the boiler will start to rev up again to compensate. That's where you get your modulation from, so it just literally revs up and down. You can see the temperature's flying up a bit at the moment. You just need to turn the power flush back on. We don't want to boil the boiler, obviously, do we? Just to show everybody this power flush itself, that the gentleman here actually only had the system flushed 18 months ago by another company. And obviously they've probably done a very, very good job. But regardless of that, you're putting a new boiler in, you should still power flush it. And people don't always and look this has been on for a long old time and even though it's been done before this isn't bad so people go what are you doing look it still picks some it, to me that's just made it worthwhile both the magnets are the same it's the second clean the first time it's a little bit dirtier but at the end of the day it's pick some so obviously there was some, still some debris in there it's just worthwhile doing even though it's done before they hadn't put a magnetic filter back in the system yeah we've just done it again it's now clean the system we've got a few more flushes to do so there'll be a bit more come out then we've got the magnetic filter in with the inhibitor bang it's not going to get dirty again and people just need to realize that when you're doing a new boiler bloody power flush it even if it's been done a few months before or 18 months before you never know it takes five minutes to connect that so that's the best way forward setting up a sapphire you need one of these you can only get one of these if you go on the training course voila it's like a little mini tablet thing to say look this is what you have to set it up with and clearly you need your analyzer we are going to set up the sapphire i'm not going to tell you everything because obviously that's the job of eogb number one and number two i don't know if they want me to show you everything anyway come in here ben yes we plug this bit in here if we haven't got two left hands here we go we press a button there i'm not going to say what and it goes through the setup stage and it tells us everything that's going on with the boiler etc etc different fan speeds at pump pressures and what's going on so we're just going to keep hitting next i'm not going to go into too much details that's the initial firing pressure which is 15 bar the maximum bar of this is going to be 20 bar of pressure of oil pressure when it's running it's a non-combi boiler the combi is going to come out at some point i believe and we've got the central heat and set point which is going to be 70 degrees and the minimum pump pressure on its modulation is going to be five bar of oil pressure so i'm going to start it normally at about 15 i'm going to turn the fan percentage up and i normally start between 60 and 70 we'll go 68 today the boiler's going to fire a bit weird but it's because we're in the setup mode start and we're going to wait we've heard the click it's going to free purge process and there we go we're off it's fluttering a little bit i've just got to get the speed right and get it up to 20 bars which it is now it's not running very well, but that's absolutely fine. I'm going to give it a little tweak on the old nozzle assembly. That's it, that's better. And we're going to start. We're going to put the machine in. Pull out the plug. We know that's in the flow. We're going to stick it in. And we're just going to wait a second. We're looking approximately 13 to 13 and a half CO2. And we're looking at the O2 levels to be approximately three. So that's where we're aiming at at the moment. So as you can see, we're zooming up a bit at the moment. It's going to be a bit weak, so I'm just going to turn down the fan speed a little bit and we will start to see it climbing. 
So the fan speed on here is done in percentage, so 66% of its flat out rate. We're just going to wait a second. We're at 13% now, the, the O2, 13.1, the O2 is just starting to drop. So when we get to approximately 3, which is what it's going to sit at now, it might change slightly. No, nope, it's looking right there. We're going to press set, set on there. Now, I'm a bit deaf. I have to make sure that that's okay. Once we've done that, we're going to go down to 19 bars. We're going to drop the fan percentage, two for a start, and we're going to look at our machine again. We're going to wait a few minutes. So as you can see, I need to give a little bit more fan speed. You have to be patient with these just to make sure you get them right, because if you don't, you're going to know about it. Okay, so I'm going to go down one more. There we go, spot on. Set again, and we keep repeat, repeat, repeat. And that's it, that's your commissioned sapphire boiler. Hope you enjoyed that, everybody. Just so everyone can see what we're talking about, look at that look absolutely hammering along and that's why we just love these boilers so much listen to it that is why these are so fantastic now think everybody of the fuel saving think if you had a normal condensing boiler even it would just be flat out turn off all the time this has ramped right down to nearly nothing so it's just got a gentle bit being pumped into the house. That's all it needs to do what it's got to do at the moment. The heating and the hot water are on at the moment. Well, I think the hot water's just cut off, but the heating, all radiators are stinging hot and it's just sitting here, ticking over, doing its job. That's why we think these are the best by a long way. Just give you a little final update. We're about to go. We have completed. Everything's done. A little bit of pipe lagging, so we're happy with that. Okay, all the insides done. There's obviously our mags and stuff up there, as we know. We've checked that. Not too much dirt come out of the system. So goodbye, Ben. You're off now. Goodbye. And there goes one. We're moving out, everyone. there we go we have finally completed the scraps go in done jobs are good and everybody Everybody, that's it. We're happy, and to be honest, so are we. Till next time, stay safe, everybody.